Chapter 1 11 Years of Rolling the Dice, Today is the Lucky Day You Are Listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios, Name Han Ju, Lifespan 11-65, Race Mortal, Cultivation None, Technique None, Magic None, Mystical Power None, Equipment. None, Cultivation Potential. Extremely bad, click to roll the dice, Connate Providence is as follows, click to roll the dice, Earth and Wood Spiritual Powers. Earth and Wood Cultivation Potential Strengthened, Spear Dao Spirit Child. Spear Dao Aptitude Strengthened, Physique Strengthened. Click here to start your thrilling life. Looking at the attributes list in front of him, the 11. year. Old Han Ju almost lost all hope. Cultivation potential and Khanate providence could be randomly changed every day by rolling the dice. However, each could only be changed once, and they could be refreshed every day at 7 in the morning. Han Ju had been refreshing since he was born. It had been 11 years, but he still hadn't managed to produce the best attributes and Khanate providence. Should I just start like this? A thought popped up in Han Ju's mind. No. It wasn't easy for him to come to a world of immortals and ghosts. How could it allow mortals to cultivate? Han Ju wanted to be the almighty protagonist. Roll the dice again. Han Ju raised his hand and clicked at the attributes list in front of him. Cultivation potential changed. Cultivation potential. None, Han Ju's young face instantly darkened. Again. Destined Lone Star. Brings bad luck to friends and family. Loneliness for life. Lifespan increased by 100 years, F asterisk CK. Even Destined Lone Star had appeared. Who wants to be alone for life? Han Ju was so angry that he laid down and rolled on the grass. For an entire eleven years, he was unable to produce any outstanding cultivation potential and connate providence. No. Continue rolling the dice. I don't believe it. Han Ju trembled in anger. After half an hour, he finally got up. Han Ju was a reborn person. In his previous life, he lived in the 21st century on Earth. At a young age, he was diagnosed with terminal cancer. He didn't want to undergo painful treatment and went home to wait for death. That night, to numb himself, he found an old dot school cultivation game to play. He played all night and was very hyped up. He got sleepy at dawn and thus died. When he opened his eyes again, he was reincarnated into this ancient world. He was born into a cultivation sect. The Jade Pure sect was a righteous cultivation sect of the Great Yen Dynasty. On the day that he was diagnosed with terminal cancer, Han Ju was terrified. This was the first time he knew that life was so important. But now in his new life, he could actually cultivate. He was pleasantly surprised. He had to cultivate. He wanted to live longer than anyone else. However, he couldn't cultivate as a mortal. Ever since he was born, Han Ju had been living without any pressure. His parents were the servants of Elder Iron, an alchemy master of the Jade Pure Sex Outer Sect. They usually planted medicinal herbs for Elder Iron. An alchemist's status was special. In the Outer Sect, no one dared to offend Elder Iron. He had dozens of servants under him, all of whom were mortals. Even if they had cultivation potential, Elder Iron wouldn't allow his servants to cultivate. He was probably afraid they would steal his herbs. His herbs were beneficial to cultivators, but to mortals, they were poison. However, when he was six years old, his parents fled, leaving the young Han Ju in Elder Iron's herb garden. Han Ju could understand. It would definitely be inconvenient to escape with a child. Elder Iron didn't mind. Instead, he asked someone to guide Han Ju in helping him grow the herbs. As time passed, Han Ju became familiar with all the plants in the herb garden. 
Elder Iron didn't make things difficult for Han Ju, and Han Ju continued to roll his dice. Since he was a mortal now, he might as well wait. Sigh, I will just keep rolling. If I can't produce a heaven dot defying providence before the age of 30, then forget it. Even if I'm gonna cultivate as a mortal, so be it. Han Ju thought silently. The oldest servant in the herbal garden was in his seventies. He was called Old Man Wan. He had been chosen by Elder Iron when he was in his teens. Now, he was the leader of the servants. All the servants followed his lead. Han Ju stood up and returned to the herb garden. He began to sprinkle water and clean up the dead leaves. The herb garden was huge, as big as a football field. Every servant was very careful when they worked. If they accidentally damaged the plants, Elder Iron would be furious. Some of the herbs were even poisonous. Elder Iron had only gone out last month and would probably take two to three years to return. To cultivators, two or three years were nothing at all. In the herb garden, Han Ju was a man of few words. He didn't have many friends and only interacted with old man Wan. After he was done, he returned to his room and started doing push.ups to train his body. The next morning, Han Ju washed up. Then, he sat on the wooden bed and waited. Han Ju waited until the time when the attributes list was refreshed before he perked up. It felt like a lottery draw. This was what he looked forward to the most every day. He rubbed his hands together. First, he was going to roll the dice for cultivation potential. Cultivation potential. None, F asterisk CK. This is too despicable. Han Ju almost died of anger. His hands began to tremble as he continued to draw out the Khanate Providence. The die rolled. Khanate Providence is as follows, unparalleled. Immortal Beauty, Top Dot Notch Charm, Destined Sword Fanatic. Top Dot Notch Sword Dao Aptitude, Top Dot Notch Sword Dao Learning Ability, Unparalleled Movement Technique. Top Dot Notch Movement Technique Aptitude, Descendant of the Immortal Emperor. After the game begins, you will receive an unparalleled cultivation technique and 1000 superior dot grade spirit stones. Han Ju was stunned. His eyes widened in surprise. Four Khanate Providences. This was the first time four Khanate Providences had been produced, and they all looked very impressive. Han Ju became more and more excited. This is it. No. They are it. For top dot notch, one unparalleled. One look and one could tell that it was extraordinary. After rolling the dice for eleven years, day after day, the goddess of fortune was finally blessing him. Han Ju tried hard to calm down. Without a cultivation potential, he couldn't start his game life yet. He still had to roll the dice for the cultivation potential. Finally, I'm seeing a silver lining. With these four supreme dot grade Khanate providences, even if I start cultivating at the age of 40, I can still make it in time. I can rest assured and continue rolling the dice for cultivation potential. Han Ju was in a good mood when he thought of this. He had been rolling for 11 years, so what if it would take another 11 years? Han Ju let out a long sigh, then got up and left the room to begin his day's work. Six people were living in the house with him, and each of them had a bed. The others had woken up early in the morning. Everyone had a region they were responsible for, so they didn't dare to make any mistakes. Han Ju was still young and only needed to do some simple work. Elder Iron didn't dare to let him be in charge of an area. The sun was exceptionally bright today. Perhaps it had something to do with his mood. The other servants didn't feel Han Ju's change. He hadn't started his thrilling life yet, so the enhancements due to the Khanate Providence hadn't appeared yet. Noon. Two cultivators arrived. The Jade Pure sect was very big. The herb garden was surrounded by mountains. Cultivators weren't allowed to come here. Most of the time, the outer sect deacons would be the ones who came to ask for pills. These two cultivators had excellent temperaments. 
One was a man and the other was a woman. They looked like an immortal couple, attracting the attention of all the servants. Han Ju also turned to look at the entrance of the herb garden. How glamorous! Han Ju sighed. The clothes of the servants were tattered, and the clothes of the two cultivators were clean and gorgeous. They looked like NPCs from an online cultivation game. It was just a random exclamation. He didn't feel envious at all. He had already obtained four Khanate providences, and his future achievements were not something that the outer sect disciples of the Jade Pure sect could compare to. The male cultivator expressionlessly said to Old Man Wang, From today onwards, the two of us will be responsible for protecting Elder Iron's medicinal herb garden. You don't need to be bothered by us. Also, don't disturb our cultivation. Chapter 2 Spiritual Physique of the Six Paths, Top Notch Cultivation Potential You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios, did something happen to Elder Iron? Old Man Wang asked cautiously. Although Elder Iron was temperamental, Old Man Wang had accompanied him for decades and naturally did not wish for anything to happen to him. The female cultivator shook her head and said, the Jade Pure sect has recently been infiltrated by a fiendish cultivator. The outer sect has specially sent the two of us to protect you. You don't have to worry. Old Man Wang heaved a sigh of relief upon hearing that. Dot he cupped his hands and bowed, then turned and left. The two cultivators walked away and meditated under the trees on both sides of the entrance into the herb garden. As they began their breathing exercises, visible whirlwinds appeared around them. That must be spirit chi. Han Ju thought silently and continued sprinkling water. The next day. Han Ju continued rolling the dice. Cultivation potential. None, Han Ju rolled his eyes. He actually didn't find it strange. He did not panic. In any case, he had obtained four top-notch Khanate providences, he could take his time in getting the best cultivation potential. The presence of the two cultivators did not change the lives of the herb garden servants. The dull life continued. Apart from his work, Han Ju trained his body and rolled the dice every day. The third day. He rolled the dice. Cultivation potential. None, fine. I know you're messing with me. Han Ju cursed in his head. On the fourth day. Cultivation potential. Five elements mixed potential. Cultivation cannot exceed foundational establishment. Yes, the standard for mortal cultivation. Han Ju shook his head. He still had to continue rolling the dice. He would never allow himself to cultivate as a mortal. Just like that, Han Ju exercised every day and rolled the dice every day. Most of the time, he would obtain mixed potential. He wasn't discouraged. He believed that he would be able to obtain a godlike cultivation potential. It was fine to cultivate later. Anyway, he wasn't seeking revenge. Two years later. Elder Iron returned and the two cultivators bowed and bid farewell. All the servants gathered and knelt down before Elder Iron. Elder Iron wore a black robe, and two gourds were hanging from his waist. His hair was black and white, and his expression was gloomy and fierce. He looked very bad. Tempered indeed. Not bad, no mistakes. Elder Iron looked around and smiled in satisfaction. The servants heaved a sigh of relief and smiled. Elder Iron looked at Han Ju and the other youngsters beside him. The four of you, follow me. Elder Iron pointed and walked towards his pavilion. Han Ju was one of the four. They immediately followed. He wants to arrange for us to be in charge of a portion of the garden. Han Ju thought silently. He suddenly noticed that blood was dripping from Elder Iron's right hand. Han Ju was shocked. Could it be that Elder Iron was injured and wanted to make them into puppets or use them as ingredients for pills? Han Ju had read many cultivation novels in his previous life. 
The one thing that left the deepest impression on him was that cultivators would rather kill their friends than die themselves. To cultivators, nothing was more important than their own lives. The more Han Ju thought about it, the more panicked he became. He didn't dare to escape and could only try his best to calm himself down. After entering the house, a youngster closed the door. Elder Iron sat at the end of the table and scrutinized Han Ju and the others. All of you, stretch out your hands. Elder Iron instructed. Han Ju and the others raised their right hands. Elder Iron touched them one by one. Han Ju could feel the goosebumps on his arm. Only you have a cultivation potential. The rest can go back, Elder Iron said to a tall and strong youth. Han Ju heaved a sigh of relief. This morning, he rolled the dice for the cultivation potential again. Yesterday, he still had a quadruple cultivation potential, but today, it was gone. Unexpectedly, it was a blessing in disguise. Han Ju looked at the youngster sympathetically. Zhang Gu, a passionate and popular teenager who liked pigeons. The other two youngsters looked at Zhang Gu with envy. Zhang Gu was both excited and nervous. Elder Iron didn't allow servants to cultivate, but this was also the first time he checked the servants' cultivation potential. After leaving the pavilion, Han Ju ignored the discussion of the other two youngsters and returned to work. From then on, Zhang Gu no longer participated in the labor. It turned out that Elder Iron had taken him in as a disciple. This made the other servants even more envious and jealous. Han Ju wasn't envious at all. It must be a trap. He would first nurture him before killing him. Han Ju was glad that he wasn't chosen. He had the system, so he didn't need a master. In the blink of an eye, another two years had passed. Elder Iron left the herb garden again half a year ago. After he had left, the two cultivators from before came to protect the herb garden again. Zhang Gu was already a cultivator. So, he even went forth to talk with the two cultivators. All the slaves had to obey him now. Fortunately, Zhang Gu was busy cultivating and did not bully other servants. They were slaves for the rest of their lives. Elder Iron often went out, and they weren't allowed to leave the herb garden. There were no conflicts of interest, so there were very few quarrels. Han Ju was already 15 years old and still kept a low profile. In the past four years, the best cultivation potential he rolled was a triple cultivation potential. He could reach the Golden Core Realm with it. The Golden Core Realm was nothing. Han Ju's goal was to live forever and become immortal. That morning, Han Ju rolled the dice casually. He didn't have any expectations. It was like getting up every day to rinse his mouth. Cultivation potential. Water and wood double cultivation potential. Extraordinary aptitude. There's hope to cultivate to the nascent soul realm. Double cultivation potential. Nascent soul realm. Hope. Han Ju clicked his tongue, completely unmoved. He was only 15. He could roll the dice for another 15 years. Continue rolling the dice. Spring passed and autumn came. Another year passed. Han Ju rolled the dice every morning as usual. Cultivation potential. Spiritual physique of the six paths. It contains top dot notch wind, fire, water, earth, wood, and thunder cultivation potentials. Increases providence to a certain extent. Just this. Han Ju scoffed subconsciously. Wait. It's this. Han Ju's eyes widened and his breathing quickened. It's here. It's been 16 years. Finally, a protagonist's cultivation potential. Han Ju rubbed his eyes and confirmed carefully. Top dot grade cultivation potential. And it was a top dot grade cultivation potential with six attributes. Humph, Han Ju tried hard to calm down. Finally. This is it. This was the spirit root aptitude that he should have. 
Han Ju didn't immediately click to start the life of games. He was afraid that the commotion would be too big. After all, two cultivators were guarding the door. Here comes the question. How long do I have to wait? Han Ju was in a dilemma. A line of words suddenly appeared in front of him. You can choose a small place. The system will help you create a barrier. The cultivators outside the barrier will not be able to sense the changes within the barrier. Han Ju was pleasantly surprised. He immediately walked to the door. After confirming that all the servants had gone to the herb garden, he closed the door. He stood in the middle of the room and pulled up the stats list. His fingers trembled as he clicked on the bottom line. Click here to start the life of games. Successful. The attributes list changed. Lines of words appeared in front of Han Ju. Beginning life of games, recount of your life, Han Ju, you were born in a cultivation sect in the mortal world. From a young age, you were exceptionally beautiful and loved by everyone. Your parents abandoned you when you were young. It was as if you had a destiny for something. You have a talent that surpasses the rest of the world in the art of the sword. You can often feel that the world contains six mysterious powers that you cannot grasp or see. Until today, you accidentally awakened the immortal emperor's inheritance and obtained the unparalleled six paths of reincarnation technique. Because of this, you embarked on the path of cultivation. Please choose your main cultivation route. Chapter 3 Seventh Level of the Qi Refinement Realm, Too Charming You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios Cultivation Specialization Han Ju didn't hesitate too much. He noticed that he had obtained the six paths of reincarnation technique, which was most likely related to the spiritual physique of the six paths. The aptitudes of the six top-notch cultivation potentials had to be developed together. He wanted a holistic development. At the same time, he possessed top-notch talent in swordsmanship, so he naturally had to choose sword cultivation. After Han Ju figured it out, he immediately clicked on, swordsman. In an instant, a strange heat surged within his body. He fell into a trance. It was like a dream. It was very long, but he couldn't remember what happened in the dream. When he opened his eyes again, Han Ju was covered in sweat. The screen in front of him had become a list of attributes. Name Han Ju, Lifespan 11-65, Race Mortal, Cultivation None, Technique Six paths of reincarnation technique, can be inherited, magic None, mystical power. None, equipment. None, cultivation potential. Spiritual physique of the six paths. It contains top-notch wind, fire, water, earth, wood, and thunder cultivation potentials. Increases providence to a certain extent. Connate providence is as follows, unparalleled. Immortal beauty, top-notch charm, destined sword fanatic. Top.notch Sword Dao Aptitude, Top.notch Sword Dao Learning Ability, Unparalleled Movement Technique. Top.notch Movement Technique Aptitude, Descendant of the Immortal Emperor. After the game begins, you will receive an unparalleled cultivation technique and 1000 superior dot grade spirit stones. Check Interpersonal Relationships. Han Ju wasn't in a hurry to inherit the six paths of reincarnation technique. Instead, he clicked on the, interpersonal relationships, at the bottom. The screen changed and a photo of a person appeared. It looked exactly like Elder Iron. Elder Iron. Seventh level of the Qi refinement realm. He hates you. If you have cultivation potential he would definitely scheme against you. Hatred level. One star. F asterisk CK, I worked so hard for you and you still hate me. Han Ju cursed in his head. Then, he calmed down. This is so useful. I can see what others think of me. But why is there no one else? Mortals aren't included. 
Does Zhang Gu have no thoughts about me? Han Ju couldn't figure it out, so he didn't think too much about it. He pushed open the door first and realized that it was almost noon. He couldn't be lazy anymore or he would be discovered. He immediately ran towards the herb garden. Han Ju, did you sleep in? A middle-aged servant chided him laughingly. Han Ju scratched his head in embarrassment, causing the others to laugh. They didn't think too much about it, nor did they really scold him. Han Ju rarely failed his duty. And sleeping in once in a while was okay. The female cultivator at the entrance of the herb garden suddenly opened her eyes to look at Han Ju. She frowned slightly. This young man is so handsome that a line of words appeared in front of Han Ju. Xing Hongxian has developed a favorable impression of you. Current favorability. One star. What the hell? Who is Xing Hongxian? Han Ju was baffled and turned around subconsciously. Can it be that female cultivator? As expected, the female cultivator was staring at him. Their eyes met, and Xing Hongxian smiled at him. Han Ju quickly turned his head away. Crap. My top dot notch charm has kicked into effect. I'm a mortal and she's a cultivator. A romantic relationship between us will not be blessed. Can it be that she wants to use me as a human furnace? No. He had to think of a way to avoid that. At night. After the other five servants were all sound asleep, Han Ju lay on the bed and began to inherit the six paths of reincarnation technique. A huge amount of memories flooded his mind. After a long while. He opened his eyes. So, this is a cultivation technique. It's so complicated. Han Ju thought to himself. He was only at the first level of the technique and he could reach the ninth level of Qi refining realm. The six paths of reincarnation technique focused on a balanced development so that he could nurture the cultivation potentials of all six elemental types. Although the cultivation process was more complicated than cultivating only a single elemental type, Han Ju's aptitude was exceptional and could make up for it. Only when six types of spirit qi reached a certain level could one build their foundation. Han Ju was very excited and quietly sat up. He had the system set up a barrier around his bed so that the three cultivators outside wouldn't notice. The other five servants were sound asleep. After all, it had been a tiring day. Han Ju started to perform expiration exercises according to the first level. Expiration was a breathing technique. During the expiration process, he patiently sensed the heaven and earth spirit qi. In less than 10 seconds, Han Ju felt the wind, earth, wood, and water spirit qi in the air. As for the fire and thunder spirit qi, he couldn't capture them yet. Han Ju began to absorb the four types of spirit qi. Words suddenly appeared before his eyes. Even though his eyes were closed, he could still see these words. It was truly miraculous. This is your first time cultivating. These are the following options for your cultivation development. Firstly, you can be a high dot profile unparalleled prodigy. You can obtain one Qi refining realm equipment. Alternatively, you can keep a low profile and cultivate. You can activate the ability to hide your cultivation and cultivation potential. Han Ju chose the second option without hesitation. The second function was obviously a godly skill. This way, he would be able to cultivate in peace without the fear of being discovered. You can activate the hidden function anytime. Han Ju smiled. Elder Iron had yet to return so he had to seize the opportunity to become stronger. In the blink of an eye. Two years passed quickly. The 18.year.old Han Ju was already at the seventh level of the Qi refinement realm. His four cultivation potentials, wind, earth, wood, and water, were all at the seventh level of the Qi refinement realm. Han Ju knew that Xing Hongxian was only at the seventh level of Qi refining realm through the interpersonal relationships list. Elder Iron hadn't returned for the past two years. 
what was worth mentioning was that Xing Hongxuan's good impression of him had increased to two stars. They had never even spoken. However, Han Ju could sense that Xing Hongxian kept staring at him, which made him feel uncomfortable. Being too handsome also had its troubles. Sigh. I only want to cultivate. Han Ju sighed in his head. Xing Hongxian was pretty, but definitely not so beautiful that people would give up anything for her. Han Ju didn't want to fall in love with her. Once he loved someone, he would have a weakness. He wanted to live forever and not die halfway. He would consider romantic relationships once he had obtained immortality. As long as he was invincible, he could have as many women as he wanted. He wasn't afraid of his enemies finding trouble with him. As Han Ju worked, he made the firm decision to see Xing Hongxian as a lure that would sway him from his goals. At this moment, Xing Hongxian suddenly rose to her feet. She walked over leisurely, attracting the attention of the other servants. She went straight to Han Ju and smiled. Come with me. Han Ju was stunned. The other servants looked at him enviously. To be able to attract the attention of such a fairy. Like figure must be a good thing. All of them had already given up hope and had made themselves content with staying single for life. Han Ju didn't dare to refuse and could only nod. The two of them walked out of the herb garden. The male cultivator opened his eyes and asked, Hong Xian, what are you doing? He sized up Han Ju and frowned. He's so handsome. The herb garden servants had never left the garden their entire lives. They had no aesthetic taste, and with their habitual thinking, they didn't really notice the change in Han Ju much. As a female, Xing Hongxian was the first to notice something different about him. The male cultivator observed Han Ju carefully only because of Xing Hongxian. Han Ju's good looks made him instinctively unhappy. Xing Hongxian covered her mouth and smiled. It's fine. You can continue your cultivation. I want to talk to this young man alone. Han Ju smiled awkwardly and anxiously at the male cultivator. The male cultivator frowned but did not say anything. Han Ju followed Xing Hongxian into the woods. He was struggling internally. I'm too charming. What should I do next? Resist. Or. Obey. Chapter 4 Threatened by Demonic Cultivator, Reward is a Sword Technique You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios Han Ju and Xing Hongxian arrived at a deserted corner of the forest. Han Ju felt uneasy, fearing that Xing Hongxian would make that request. Xing Hongxian turned to look at him with a burning gaze. Han Ju didn't dare to look her in the eyes. Xing Hongxian smiled and said, Don't be nervous. I'm not trying to bother you. I just want to ask you, are you really willing to be a slave in this herbal garden forever? Han Ju was silent. Next, you want me to bow before you and become your toy. Xing Hongxian took a step forward and whispered into his ear, help me do something. I will help you cultivate and rid you of your mortal identity. What is it? Xing Hongxian opened and closed her mouth, but no sound came out. However, Han Ju heard her clearly. Help me obtain Elder Iron's alchemy recipe. I will bring you along when I leave the Jade Pure sect and we will head to the fiendish cult. I will treat you well in the future. Under me, you will not suffer at all. If you have the aptitude and achieve good cultivation, we can even become companions. Sound Transmission Han Ju widened his eyes. This woman is actually a fiendish cultivator. Han Ju had no idea what to do. This was no joke. If he agreed, he would offend the entire Jade Pure sect. If he refused, Xing Hongxian would never let him leave the forest. Elder Iron wasn't here. This was only the outer sect of the Jade Pure sect. No one would respond even if he shouted his lungs out. Xing Hongxian didn't rush him. 
she walked around Han Ju and waited patiently. Han Ju was weighing his chances of winning against Xing Hongxian. They were both at the seventh level of the Qi refinement realm. Without magic and equipment, how could he defeat Xing Hongxian? I can't resort to brute force. Han Ju pretended to be terrified and said, I don't know where that thing is. Moreover, Zhang Gu is there. Xing Hongxian looked satisfied. The fact that Han Ju didn't mention the alchemy recipe meant that he was smart. It's all right. I still have time. I can wait for you, Xing Hongxian said with a smile. She took out a pill and said, this pill can help you unlock your cultivation potential. Take it, this is my greeting gift. Han Ju looked at the pill. It looked like chocolate. It was definitely poison. Not able to refuse, Han Ju placed it in his mouth. But he wrapped the pill with his spirit qi to prevent it from melting. After swallowing it, Han Ju opened his mouth and deliberately showed it to Xing Hongxian. He then said excitedly, Thank you, fairy dot like miss. I will do my best. Damn it. Wait for me to cultivate for another year and I will let you know how formidable I am. It was impossible for Han Ju to join the fiendish cult just like that. He wanted to live forever, not a risky life. Xing Hongxian covered her mouth and smiled. She reached out to touch Han Ju's cheek and said with a smile, You're so sensible. Be good. I will groom you as my husband in the future. Han Ju showed excitement. But he was actually disgusted. Stupid bitch, do you think you are worthy of me? Xing Hongxian rubbed his face for a while more before the two of them returned to the herb garden. The male cultivator looked at Han Ju suspiciously, frowning. Xing Hongxian smiled mysteriously and continued her cultivation. As Han Ju walked into the herb garden, lines of words suddenly appeared before his eyes. You were threatened by the fiendish cultivator Xing Hongxian. You have the following choices. Eh. I can even be rewarded. Nice. Han Ju's eyes lit up. He was even more determined to not listen to her. Night fell. Han Ju returned to the room and activated the barrier function. He then spat out the pill in his stomach and placed it in his belt. Then, he walked to the wooden bed and sat down. He took out a steamed bun and started eating. He had already abstained from eating ordinary meals, but to not cause suspicion, he had to pretend to eat. It was late at night. After the five slaves had fallen asleep, Han Ju continued to cultivate. Given his cultivation potential, it wouldn't be difficult for him to surpass Xing Hongxian. For the next few days, Han Ju worked as usual. Zhang Gu had been cultivating in Elder Iron's residence, giving Han Ju an excuse to not enter. Xing Hongxian seemed to be in no hurry. In the blink of an eye, half a year had passed. Name Han Ju, Lifespan 18-85, Race Mortal, Cultivation 8th Level of the Qi Refinement Realm, Technique 6 Paths of Reincarnation Technique, Can Be Inherited, Magic None, Mystical Power None, Equipment None, Cultivation Potential Spiritual Physique of the Six Paths It contains top.notch wind, fire, water, earth, wood, and thunder cultivation potentials. Increases Providence to a certain extent. Connate Providence is as follows, unparalleled. Immortal Beauty, top.notch charm, destined sword fanatic. Top.notch sword Dao aptitude, Top.notch Sword Dao Learning Ability, Unparalleled Movement Technique. Top.notch Movement Technique Aptitude, Descendant of the Immortal Emperor. After the game begins, you will receive an unparalleled cultivation technique and 1000 superior dot grade spirit stones. Check Interpersonal Relationships. Han Ju broke through to the 8th level of Qi Refinement Realm, and all four of his spiritual roots reached the 8th level of Qi Refinement Realm. It was worth mentioning that his lifespan had also increased by 20 years, making him overjoyed. 
The feeling of having his spiritual qi rapidly grow was truly wonderful. On the other hand, Xing Hongxian and Elder Iron hadn't progressed in their cultivation at all. This was the difference between a genius and a mortal. Han Ju was secretly pleased. Indeed, one had to endure loneliness to become stronger. If he had started cultivating as a mortal from the very beginning, he might not even have reached the fourth level of the qi refinement realm yet. That night, Han Ju heard footsteps outside the door. He immediately lay down and closed the barrier. I'm going to lure Zhang Go away. You can go in and look for the item later. Xing Hongxuan's voice reached Han Ju's ears. He opened his eyes and hurriedly got up. Damn. I still can't run away from it. Han Ju waited patiently. He, who was at the eighth level of qi refining, had already obtained a divine sense, and his normal senses were also extraordinary. He could faintly hear the sound of tables and chairs colliding in the distant pavilion. You can go now. Xing Hongxuan's voice flowed into his ear. Then, Han Ju sensed Xing Hongxian and Zhang Gu rushing away from the roof. Han Ju quietly got up and prepared to put on a show. After carefully leaving the house, he looked towards the entrance of the herb garden and discovered that the male cultivator had fallen under a tree. He couldn't tell if the guy was dead or alive. What a weak guy. Han Ju couldn't help but ridicule him. He headed for the pavilion. Elder Iron's pavilion was two stories high, just like the villa. It was grand and magnificent, filled with all kinds of porcelain and paintings. After Han Ju entered the house, he began to wander around. He didn't put in any effort at all. Even if there was something he wanted, he had no place to keep it. After sitting for half an hour, Han Ju got up and continued to rummage through the drawers. He had to at least put on an act. Another half an hour passed. Xing Hongxian returned. She rushed into the room and found him. Have you found it? Standing beside a vase, Han Ju turned around and said, I couldn't find it. I searched everywhere but couldn't find it. All of a sudden, he noticed that Xing Hongxian was covered in blood. Had she killed Zhang Gu? Han Ju retreated subconsciously and accidentally knocked over the vase on the table. Ping, the vase fell to the floor and shattered. Han Ju saw a manual appearing in the broken vase with two words carved on it. Alchemy recipe. Silence. The room was so quiet that a dropping needle would have been heard. Han Ju was stunned and felt extremely awkward. Berm. Damn it. Is this how Elder Iron hides his things? Xing Hongxian shifted her gaze from the alchemy recipe to him. It looked as if there was a bottomless abyss in her eyes. Han Ju said in surprise, he actually hid it in a vase. This old man really knows how to hide things. Chapter 5 Unparalleled Finger Divine Sword, Prepare for Foundation Establishment You are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios Han Ju was extremely nervous. He tried his best to look pleasantly surprised, as he prepared for Xing Hongxian to attack him any moment. Xing Hongxian suddenly walked forward and grabbed his hand tightly. She smiled excitedly and said, You're really my lucky charm. I'm happy as long as you're happy. Xing Hongxuan's favorable impression of you has increased. She can become your companion. Her favorable impression of you is at the level of three stars, Han Ju smiled bitterly at the line of words that appeared before him. However, Xing Hongxian didn't notice it. She walked around him, picked up the recipe, and began to flip through it. She seemed to be looking for something. Han Ju waited nervously. Should he make a move? If Xing Hongxian took the recipe away, he wouldn't be able to obtain the sword technique. Xing Hongxian seemed to be injured, and her breathing was unstable. Ambush her. So that she will back off and give up. Just as Han Ju was hesitating, a gust of cold wind swept through the door. Han Ju was caught off dot guard and was sent flying, 
crashing into the wall and rebounding to the ground. Not really painful. Just a little scary. Han Ju stared in the direction. It was Elder Iron. He tilted his neck and shook his right leg vigorously. He was pretending to have passed out. Put down my alchemy recipe. Elder Iron said coldly. Xing Hongxian talked back coldly, you're actually back. Elder Iron said expressionlessly, I've been back for a long time, but I've been waiting for you to show up. The last time I came back, I saw the two of you the moment I arrived. All these years, the other disciples have not accepted any of my missions, only the two of you have. There must be something fishy. With that, Elder Iron suddenly launched an attack at Xing Hongxian, pushing his palm at her. In his palm was a talisman. As Xing Hongxian instinctively jumped away, a lightning bolt shot out from Elder Iron's palm and wrapped around her. Elder Iron then kicked Xing Hongxian, sending her flying backward. Almost instantly, Elder Iron snatched the alchemy recipe back. Xing Hongxian landed on the ground, her body twitching uncontrollably. With his advantage, Elder Iron continued pursuing Xing Hongxian, causing her to flee. The two of them zoomed out one after another. Lying on the ground, Han Ju hesitated whether he should get up. No. If he got up, he wouldn't be able to avoid suspicion. Han Ju also thought about escaping. But it was too dangerous. He didn't even know where to run to. So, he waited patiently. After an hour, Han Ju couldn't help but scratch his butt. Then, he suddenly felt an aura approaching the pavilion. It was Elder Iron. Han Ju didn't dare to move. As he entered the pavilion, Elder Iron noticed him and frowned. Han Ju suddenly coughed. Elder Iron walked to a nearby chair and sat down, quietly staring at him. Han Ju displayed the best and most realistic acting skills ever. He rubbed his head and got up. Looking around in confusion, he was pleasantly surprised to see Elder Iron. Elder Iron. You're finally back. Han Ju shrunk his neck and looked around nervously. He carefully asked, then, where did the witch go? Elder Iron looked at him expressionlessly. Han Ju hurriedly stood up and lowered his head before Elder Iron, looking uneasy. Han Ju was gambling. He was gambling that Elder Iron didn't notice the communication between Xing Hongxian and him. If he discovered it, Han Ju could only go all out. What did she tell you? Elder Iron asked. Han Ju didn't dare to hide anything and answered truthfully. Humph. She wants to train you to be her husband. What a joke. Elder Iron was so angry that he laughed. This kid must be daydreaming. He examined Han Ju carefully. Ha. Huh. It's actually true. This kid had really become handsome. Just based on his looks and gaze, he wasn't inferior to those inner sect disciples at all. The changes were too great. Could it be? Elder Iron stretched out his hand and grabbed Han Ju's right wrist, pondering carefully. Nervous, Han Ju was ready to attack at any time. This kid doesn't have a cultivation potential or cultivation. Am I overthinking? Old Iron silently thought. Seeing Han Ju's fearful and anxious appearance, he couldn't help but think of his parents, and his mood immediately became irritable. He snapped. Go back to sleep. Han Ju heaved a sigh of relief, hurriedly bowed, then left the pavilion quickly. Elder Iron began to tidy up the room. Back in his room, Han Ju quietly went to bed. As you did not help Xing Hongxian steal the alchemy recipe, you successfully obtained the sword technique, unparalleled fingered divine sword. Han Ju was in a good mood. He finally had a life dot saving technique. He immediately chose to inherit it. A wave of memories surged into his mind. The unparalleled fingered divine sword wasn't considered a martial art, but a magical spell. He could brandish his finger as a sword, and the spirit qi would transform into a blade. 
Han Ju was very talented with sword techniques and was able to master the magical spell in one night. However, he didn't expose himself and maintained a low profile. The next day. After Han Ju woke up, he heard the other servants say that Zhang Gu had died. It was said that he died a miserable death, bleeding from all seven orifices. The male cultivator guarding the herb garden also left early in the morning. Something big seemed to have happened last night. Han Ju couldn't help but mourn for Zhang Gu. Xing Hongxuan's favorable impression of you has increased. She can become your companion. Her favorable impression of you is at the level of 3.5 stars, Han Ju was stunned. Why did she become more affectionate towards me? Ridiculous. However, Xing Hongxian probably wouldn't dare to show up again for the time being, and Han Ju could cultivate in peace. Half a month later. Elder Iron left the herb garden again. He had been going out more frequently in the past ten years. Han Ju heard from old man Wang that Elder Iron seemed to be nearing the end of his life and was looking for herbs to increase his lifespan. Not everyone could break through easily like Han Ju. Elder Iron's cultivation level was stuck at the seventh level of the Qi refinement realm and could not increase further. This was the difference in cultivation potential. Elder Iron was a typical mortal cultivator who wanted to change his fate. Han Ju prayed in his heart, hoping that this old man would die on the way. The reason he had such a vicious thought was that he noticed that Elder Iron still had a level of hatred of one star towards him. Elder Iron was a potential enemy. In the blink of an eye. Two years passed. The 20. year. Old Han Ju had cultivated all four spiritual roots to the ninth level of the Qi refining realm. As long as he cultivated his lightning and fire cultivation potential to the ninth level of the Qi refinement realm, he could begin preparing to break through to the foundation establishment realm. However, there was no lightning or fire spiritual Qi around the herb garden. Han Ju knew that it was time for him to leave. That night, he quietly left. Han Ju still had a thousand superior dot grade spirit stones that he had yet to take out. This would be the source of his confidence in traveling the cultivation world. Along the way, Han Ju used his divine sense to search his surroundings as he walked. He was prepared to pay a visit to the Jade Pure sect and become its disciple. The Jade Pure sect probably wouldn't reject a cultivator at the ninth level of Qi refinement realm. The next morning. Han Ju finally found the Jade Pure Sect. The sect was located in a valley between mountains. Mysterious mist pervaded the air, and two huge stone statues flanked the gate. They looked like Kirin statues. Stop right there. Show us your sect pass, said a disciple of the Jade Pure Sect as he raised his sword. A total of four disciples were guarding the entrance of the Jade Pure Sect and all of them were at the fifth level of the Qi refinement realm. Han Ju turned off the concealment function and clasped his hands. I'm Han Ju, a rogue cultivator at the ninth level of Qi refinement realm. Do I have any way to join the Jade Pure sect? The ninth level of Qi refinement realm. The four disciples' attitudes instantly changed. Dot the sword dot wielding disciple told the disciple beside him, and the latter disciple quickly left. Wait a moment. I've sent someone to inform the outer sect warden, said the sword dot wielding disciple. Han Ju thanked him. In the Jade Pure sect, other than Elder Iron, no other cultivator knew his name. Elder Iron had yet to return and might have died outside, so Han Ju wasn't worried about exposing his identity. In any case, he had done nothing to harm the Jade Pure sect, so nothing was stopping him from joining the sect. Chapter 6 Entering the Jade Pure Sect, Cultivating the Fire Cultivation Potential You are listening at Novel Full.audio L.C Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios Han Ju didn't have to wait long before an outer sect warden arrived. He was also at the ninth level of the Qi Refinement Realm. I'm an outer sect warden of the Jade Pure Sect, Yang Luo. Brother Han, can you let me do a quick check? 
fiendish cultivators occasionally tried to infiltrate the Jade Pure sect in the past few years, the outer sect warden said politely, cupping his hands. Han Ju didn't have anything on him and wasn't afraid of a check. He raised his hands. Yang Luo began to feel around. After he finished searching, he asked doubtfully, why do you not even have a storage ring or storage pouch? Han Ju helplessly said, I was attacked by a foundation establishment realm fiendish cultivator on my way here. To stay alive. Yeah, I'm sure you understand. Yang Luo was silent and looked at him sympathetically. Can you show your spiritual energy? Yang Luo asked. Han Ju could understand. It was to check if he was a fiendish cultivator. He immediately raised his right hand, wielding his finger like a sword and pointing towards the cliff at the side. Swish. A beam of spirit chi shot out from his index finger, piercing into the rocks. Yang Luo's eyes lit up. What kind of spell is this? He didn't ask, but he could feel that Han Ju wasn't a fiendish cultivator. No problem, follow me. I'll bring you to the outer sect for registration. From now on, you're an outer sect disciple of the Jade Pure sect. Yang Luo smiled. Then, he led Han Ju into the valley. As Han Ju walked, he asked, how many outer sect disciples are there? What are the conditions to enter the inner sect? There are more than 2,000 disciples in the outer sect. Only those who have reached foundation establishment can enter the inner sect. However, foundation establishment is very difficult. Every three years, the sect will hold a sect competition. The top three will all receive foundation establishment pills. Foundation establishment pills can help a ninth layer chi refinement realm cultivator breakthrough to the foundation establishment realm. Are there many inner sect disciples? I'm not sure about that. The Jade Pure Sect's inner sect is located in a small world we have no idea what's happening inside. It seems like Jade Pure Sect is very powerful. Of course. The Jade Pure Sect is the most prestigious and established cultivation sect in the Great Yen. Does the Jade Pure Sect have places to cultivate with lightning and fire spiritual chi? There aren't any in the outer sect, but there might be in the inner sect. If you have a thunder cultivation potential, you can appeal to the Elder Hall. Perhaps they can make an exception and allow you to enter the inner sect. Having rare cultivation potentials like this is normally enough for the sect to especially nurture you. Yang Luo was secretly surprised. Could it be that this guy also had a thunder cultivation potential? Han Ju's eyes brightened as he asked, as long as I have a thunder cultivation potential. Yang Luo nodded. Brother Yang, can you nominate me? If I can enter the inner sect, I will never forget your kindness, Han Ju said in a low voice. He raised his right hand and sparks crackled in his palm. Yang Luo's pupils contracted. The outer sect warden of the Jade Pure sect, Yang Luo, has a favorable impression of you. Current favorability. One star. Yang Luo laughed. Since you're already calling me brother, I naturally have to help you with this matter. I'll make an exception and explain this to the Elder Hall. Thank you, Brother Yan. I'm very grateful. Sure, sure. Yang Luo had been stuck in the ninth level of the Qi refinement realm for 20 years. It was very difficult for him to make any more breakthroughs in his cultivation. The only thing he could do was to form connections. Following Yang Luo, Han Ju saw many outer sect disciples meditating along the way. The outer sect did not allocate special cultivation grounds and cave abodes for the disciples. Everyone just randomly found a place to practice their breathing techniques and were not to cause trouble. Soon, Han Ju arrived at the outer sect's buildings. Most of the buildings were very similar to Elder Iron's buildings and looked antique. There were also many disciples on the streets. Other than cultivators, there were also mortals. It turned out that there were also many mortal slaves in the cultivation sect. Slaves were not only needed by alchemists. Mortals were also willing to serve them. At the very least, 
they wouldn't encounter any life-threatening situations and would be able to fill their stomach. The Elder Hall was located in the center of the valley. It had four floors, and the entire place was filled with a strange fragrance. Han Ju followed Yang Luo in. Yang Luo walked to the counter and said, a ninth-level Qi refinement realm cultivator wants to join our Jade Pure sect. The first floor wasn't big, and there was only an old man at the counter. The old man glanced at Han Ju, causing him to uncontrollably tense up. He couldn't tell the old man's cultivation level. Could he be a foundation establishment realm cultivator? Eh. The old man responded and turned around to take a small rectangular wooden block from the wooden cabinet behind him. Yang Luo asked in a low voice, is the first elder here? This person has a thunder cultivation potential and wants to enter the inner court. Thunder cultivation potential. The old man looked at Han Ju in surprise. He waved his hand. Han Ju immediately walked up to the old man. At the same time, he made the system only reveal his thunder, fire, and wind cultivation potentials. Triple cultivation potential. The old man was shocked. Triple cultivation potential. Yang Luo wasn't surprised. Instead, he looked slightly envious. Register yourself first. You will be an outer sect disciple for the time being. When the first elder returns, I will tell him about this matter, the old man said in a low voice. Han Ju started the registration. After that, Han Ju received the sect pass, a storage bag, a jade pure sect Daoist robe, 100 low dot grade spirit stones, and a bottle of qi condensation pills. Yang Luo personally arranged for him to stay in a wooden house not far from his. All right, Brother Han, you should rest first. Someone will inform you when there's news. I still have things to do. Yang Luo smiled. Han Ju cupped his fists and watched him leave. Yang Luo's attitude made him feel very real. It was different from what was written in novels. Even if Yang Luo wanted to form a good relationship with him, he wouldn't deliberately try to please him. They were all cultivators. He wasn't going to be a simp just because Han Ju had better potential. Han Ju closed the door and started to cultivate. He could finally cultivate without any worries. Something surprising happened again. He could actually sense fire spiritual chi here. Han Ju decided to first cultivate his fire cultivation potential to the ninth level of the Qi refinement realm. Generally speaking, cultivators would only choose one technique to cultivate. Most cultivation techniques only had a single elemental attribute. Very few people would cultivate with six elemental attributes like Han Ju. Han Ju's cultivation potential was top dot notch and he didn't feel tired at all. He enjoyed the feeling of becoming stronger. More accurately, it was the feeling of his lifespan increasing. When Han Ju saw the attributes panel, his first thought was to live forever. He didn't want fame or fortune. He didn't want to marry a beauty. He only wanted to live for very long. He didn't want to suffer from a terminal disease and die at a young age again. With my cultivation potential, I don't need to take risks and seek opportunities. I need to cultivate diligently and never cause trouble. If I can avoid provoking my enemies, then I shouldn't provoke them unless they want to kill me. Han Ju thought silently. Half a year passed in the blink of an eye. Han Ju's fire cultivation had reached the fourth level of the Qi refinement realm. The outer sect first elder finally returned, and Yang Luo personally came to inform him. Han Ju packed up his things, tied the storage bag on his waist, and followed him to the Elder Hall. Initially, the Elder Hall had already forgotten about this matter. I happened to pass by your door and noticed that you were still cultivating, so I suddenly remembered it. I'm sure the first Elder would like a diligent cultivator like you. Yang Luo smiled. His tone was full of admiration. Han Ju didn't open his door for half a year. If not for the spiritual qi fluctuation inside, others would have thought that it was an empty room. Han Ju smiled and said, Many thanks, Brother Yang. 
If I have the chance to obtain more foundation establishment pills in the future, I will definitely obtain one for you. Chapter 7 Fairy Shi Xian's favorability grew you are listening at novelfull.audio. Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios Elder Hall Han Ju met the first elder. The first elder was plump and resembled Mithraya Buddha. He had a smile on his face and his eyes curved into two lines. He sized up Han Ju and said with satisfaction, his temperament is comparable to inner sect disciples and almost equivalent to an elite disciple. The jade pure sect robe was white with blue stripes. After Han Ju wore it, his charm was completely unleashed. He didn't look like a servant at all. Many female cultivators peeped at him on the way here. I cannot be compared to the elite disciples, Han Ju said humbly. The Grand Elder smiled and said, Let's go. Follow me to the inner sect. If you want to join the inner sect, you have to find a master. There are eighteen peaks and eighteen missionary elders in the inner sect. If anyone is fond of you, you can directly become an inner sect disciple. If not, you can only participate in the outer sect competition and strive to reach foundation establishment as soon as possible. I understand. The two of them then left the elder hall. The old man at the counter clicked his tongue in wonder. This child's fire. Attribute spiritual energy has increased by quite a bit. It seems that he has been diligently cultivating for half a year. Yang Luo laughed. That's right, he didn't leave his room even once. He has good talent and is willing to cultivate diligently. Who knows, he might even become an elite disciple in the future. The old man shook his head and laughed. He didn't say anything else. He had been here for more than a hundred years and had seen geniuses more talented than Han Ju. He only felt a little emotional but didn't think too much about it. They didn't speak on the way. Following the first elder, Han Ju arrived at a teleportation formation in the corner of the valley. Several disciples were guarding this place. The teleportation formation was very much like an altar. It was a circular stone platform with strange patterns engraved on it. Stone pillars were erected in all directions, and there were many irregular dents on them, which were especially used to insert spirit stones. This was Han Ju's first time using a teleportation formation. He was very nervous, but he didn't dare to show it, afraid of embarrassing himself. The outer sect disciples began placing spirit stones. What kind of training style do you prefer? The first elder suddenly asked. The various peaks have different cultures because of the different personalities of the coaching elders. Some are competitive, some are low. Key, and some are out on missions all year round. Han Ju replied, I'm a low. Profile cultivator. I don't like crowds and I don't like being high. Profile. The first elder revealed a strange smile and said, Then, I'll bring you to the Jade Serene Peak first. At this moment, the teleportation formation was activated and a strong light burst out, causing Han Ju to close his eyes. Han Ju felt a strong sense of weightlessness. Any other mortal would have vomited. About three seconds passed. Han Ju opened his eyes, and what he saw was a mountain peak that reached into the clouds. The sea of clouds filled his vision and he felt as if he were standing on a cloud. Under his feet was the teleportation formation, and in front of him was a stone step that led to the city. The city was located on a lower peak compared to the surrounding 18 mountain peaks. However, when Han Ju looked down from the teleportation formation, it was like a 10,000-foot-high cliff. Due to the clouds and mist, he couldn't see the ground. The city on the lower peak was very big. Many cultivators could be seen flying with their swords in the sky. There were even various kinds of ferocious birds. That's the inner sect of the Jade Pure Sect. You can do missions and collect your salary here. You can also trade inside. The first elder introduced the inner sect with a proud tone. Han Ju was stunned. He had thought that the Jade Pure Sect was a small sect like in the cultivation dramas. He didn't expect it to be so big. 
he thought he had arrived at an immortal world. He had truly underestimated the strength of the Jade Pure sect. After all, he had been staying in the Herb Garden for the past twenty years, and his activity was limited to a radius of two kilometers. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to call him a caged bird. The first elder waved his hand. Han Ju felt something lifting him and almost fell. He looked down and saw a huge gourd under his feet. Stand firm. If you fall, you'll die even if you're at the ninth level of the Qi refinement realm. The first elder laughed heartily. Han Ju quickly covered the bottom of his feet with spiritual force to stick himself to the gourd's surface. The huge gourd carried them towards one of the taller peaks. The other huge peaks had disciples traveling in and out, and only this one seemed inactive. The coaching elder of Jade Serene Peak is Fairy Shi Xian. Her cultivation level is unfathomable. She likes to cultivate in seclusion, with peace and silence. Therefore, Jade Serene Peak is not lively. In addition, she doesn't allow her disciples to develop feelings for each other and become companions. Therefore, there are very few disciples. The disciples who stay on Jade Serene Peak are basically all ascetics, the great elder said with a smile. Han Ju raised his eyebrows and said, Really? That's great. He was afraid of female cultivators pestering him. After all, his charm was unparalleled. The first elder shook his head and laughed. The first elder of the outer sect of the Jade Pure sect has a favorable impression of you. Current favorability. One star. A line of words appeared in front of Han Ju. He was baffled. Soon, they arrived at the palace complex of the Jade Serene Peak and flew straight to the main hall. His mouth moved slightly as the first elder stood in front of the door. He was probably using a voice transmission technique. Boom! The front door opened. The first elder led Han Ju in. The hall was dark. As they walked in, the oil lamps on both sides lit up. Han Ju's gaze landed on the two figures meditating in front. Two female cultivators. One of the female cultivators wore a blue robe and had a graceful bearing. Her appearance could be described as devastatingly beautiful. She was probably fairy Shi Xian. The female cultivator behind her should be a disciple. Her temperament and appearance were quite different, but she was still a beauty. Fairy Shi Xian opened her eyes and looked at Han Ju. As the first elder approached, he smiled and said, This child's name is Han Ju. He's an itinerant cultivator with a triple cultivation potential and also possesses a rare thunder cultivation potential. On the way here, I asked and found out that he also likes quiet and peaceful training grounds. He doesn't want to be too high. Profile. Han Ju bowed. Chang Yue has developed a favorable impression of you. Current favorability. Two stars, two stars just like that. How shallow. Han Ju complained in his head and became nervous. Jade Serene Peak is not living up to its name. Are the female disciples all so desperate? Fairy Shi Xian opened her mouth and warned, If you join my peak, I will not treat you any better than others. Everything will depend on you. In terms of cultivation, I won't neglect to teach you. But if you slack off, I will chase you out of the peak. Han Ju immediately promised, as long as there are no instructions, I can enter seclusion for a hundred years and never leave my house. Really? Absolutely true. Fairy Shi Xian has a favorable impression of you. Current favorability. One star. Chang Yue's favorability towards you has decreased. Current favorability. One star. Lines of words appeared in front of Han Ju. He couldn't help but look down on Chang Yue. Are you so desperate for love? This is a land of cultivation. Do you know any spells? Attack me. Let me see your ability, Fairy Shi Xian asked. Han Ju nodded and decided to go all out. This jade serene peak suited him too well. If it were any other peak, 
he would be annoyed to death by female cultivators like Chang Yue. Han Ju was definitely not heartless. He also liked women, but women were definitely not as important as lifespan. Right now, he only wanted to cultivate. Lust is a knife in disguise. Once his cultivation had reached a phenomenal stage, he would be able to nurture a few companions to play with. However, he wouldn't use his true feelings. He would only cultivate together with them. Han Ju channeled the spiritual power in his body and pointed his right hand at Fairy Shi Xian. Sword Qi burst forth from his five fingers, condensing into a palm dot sized sword Qi that shot towards Fairy Shi Xian like lightning. Just as it was about to touch Fairy Shi Xian, the sword Qi dissipated into thin air. Fairy Shi Xian's beautiful hair began to flutter. Chang Yue's favorability towards you has increased. Current favorability. Two stars. Chapter 8. A nascent soul realm master only needs thunder spirit chi. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios Han Ju looked at the notification and waited for Fairy Shi Xian to speak. Fairy Shi Xian asked, Is this the only move you know? Yes, dot Han Ju was very honest. He didn't want to pretend to be better. This sword technique is not bad. All right, you may stay at the Jade Serene Peak. Fairy Shi Xian nodded slightly. The Grand Elder laughed. I shouldn't disturb you anymore, then. He nodded at Han Ju and left. Fairy Shi Xian stared at Han Ju and said, Aren't you going to kneel and acknowledge me as your master? Han Ju came back to his senses and immediately knelt. Disciple Han Ju greets Master. Long live Master. Fairy Shi Xian couldn't help but laugh. Do you think I'm an empress? Han Ju didn't look up. Fairy Shi Xian thought to herself, this child carries himself well. His temperament is also not bad. She took out a token from her sleeve and handed it to Chang Yue. Bring your junior to the inner sect to register and arrange a cave abode for him. Yes, master. Chang Yue carefully stood up. Han Ju stood up and bowed, then left with Chang Yue. Just as they walked out of the palace, the door closed behind them. Junior Han, my name is Chang Yue. From now on, you can call me Senior Chang. You're a newcomer, so if there's anything you don't understand, feel free to ask me. Chang Yue smiled and met Han Ju's gaze. She didn't feel shy and stared straight at him. Han Ju lowered his head slightly and said, Thank you, Senior Chang. I wouldn't dare to trouble you, but if you need a helping hand, you can tell me at any time. Hee hee, you're such a nice person. He's more handsome than the other male seniors and juniors. This was the first time Chang Yue had met such a handsome man, and his attitude and personality made him very comfortable to interact with. She swore to herself that she must protect Junior Han and not let him be bullied. The two of them went all the way to the edge of the cliff, chattering and laughing all along. Chang Yue took out her flying sword and let Han Ju stand behind her, hugging her waist. Han Ju hesitated. Other than you, the other male juniors don't have a chance to hug me by my waist. Chang Yue snorted. But in fact, Han Ju was the first male junior she had met. In the entire Jade Serene Peak, only Han Ju was her junior. It had been years since Jade Serene Peak had a new disciple. Since she had already said that, Han Ju didn't want to be pretentious. He had to agree that Senior Chang had a slim waist. Two hours later, Chang Yue brought Han Ju to a cave entrance and said, Inside is your cave abode. My cave abode is right beside it. You can cultivate in peace. So close. Han Ju looked in the direction she pointed. The entrance of her cave was 100 meters away. Han Ju sighed in his head, but he still thanked Chang Yue. The two bid farewell. After entering the cave, Han Ju saw a knob on the wall of the cave. After twisting it, a stone door closed at the entrance of the cave. Immediately after, 
the cave lit up. He walked towards the end of the tunnel. The cave was about a hundred square meters. There was a bed, a table, and a wooden cabinet. He was treated well. Han Ju sat on the bed and took out the newly obtained inner sex storage bag. The inner sex storage bag was ten times larger than the outer sex storage bag. It had a space of 100 cubic meters. He obtained Jade Serene Peak's Taoist robe, a flying sword, a flying sword technique manual, Jade Serene Peak's token, a hundred middle dot grade spirit stones, and a bottle of qi condensation pills. Through Chang Yue, Han Ju learned that a high dot grade spirit stone was equivalent to a hundred middle dot grade spirit stones. A middle dot grade spirit stone was equivalent to a hundred low. Grade spirit stones. Spirit stones could be used for cultivation or currency. He immediately retrieved the 1000 superior dot grade spirit stones from his attribute panel and placed them into his storage bag. This amount of spirit stones was enough to make Han Ju rich. The providence of being the descendant of an immortal emperor was indeed amazing. He was given a thousand superior dot grade spirit stones from the start. Han Ju opened his characteristic panel and checked his interpersonal relationships. Chang Yue. Second dot stage foundation establishment realm. She treats you as her younger brother. Current favorability. Two stars. Fairy Shi Xian. Third level of the nascent soul realm. Your master admires your temperament. Current favorability. One star, treats me like a younger brother. Han Ju was speechless. Favorability didn't mean romantic affection. He was thinking too highly of himself. However, he was very surprised by Fairy Shi Xian's cultivation. She was a nascent soul realm cultivator. The outer sex first elder was only at the foundation establishment realm. The qi refinement, the foundation establishment, the golden core, and the nascent soul realms were all the realms that he was aware of so far. In other words, Fairy Shi Xian was the strongest cultivator he had encountered so far. Not bad, not bad. Han Ju thought happily. He packed up his things and started reading the flying sword technique manual. He had to master the flying sword technique. Otherwise, he would have to hug onto his senior slim waist whenever he needed to go down the mountain. His top dot notch sword technique talent allowed him to master the flying sword technique in an hour. He dripped blood on the flying sword to make it recognize him as the owner. This method was recorded in the six paths of reincarnation technique. After everything was done, he walked out of the cave abode and stepped on his flying sword. He began to circle Jade Serene Peak to familiarize himself with the flying sword technique. In the Jade Serene Hall, Fairy Shi Xian suddenly opened her eyes as a strange look flashed across them. Is this really the first time this kid has cultivated the flying sword technique? She had eavesdropped on Han Ju and Chang Yue's conversation before. Was he lying? If he was lying, why would he suddenly display his flying sword technique now? Fairy Shi Xian couldn't figure it out and decided to observe for a while longer. After Han Ju flew dozens of rounds, he quickly returned to his cave abode to cultivate. He started to cultivate his fire spiritual power. You have successfully become an inner disciple of the Jade Pure Sect and started your first cultivation after entering the sect. You can choose the following development path. Han Ju took a look and face dot palmed. What the hell? Leading Jade Serene Peak to become the strongest peak would instead offend Fairy Shi Xian. His master was very strange. Is she a fiendish cultivator spy? Han Ju shook his head and smiled, silently choosing the second option. He wasn't interested in unparalleled equipment. All he wanted was to cultivate diligently. Three years passed in the blink of an eye. Han Ju successfully cultivated his fire cultivation potential to the ninth level of the Qi refinement realm. All that was left was the thunder spirit Qi. However, he couldn't capture any thunder spiritual Qi on the Jade Serene Peak. Han Ju was distressed and decided to pay a visit to his master. 
he immediately got up and walked out of the cave abode. He executed the flying sword technique and quickly flew to the entrance of Jade Serene Hall. He knelt in front of the door and said, Master, I have something to ask of you. He didn't raise his voice. He was sure that Fairy Shi Xian could hear him. Before long, the door opened. Han Ju walked into the hall at a medium pace. He walked up to Fairy Shi Xian and knelt, saying, I have cultivated my wind cultivation potential and fire cultivation to the ninth level of the Qi refinement realm. I'm only lacking the thunder spirit Qi before I can proceed to foundation establishment. Master, please tell me where I can find thunder spirit Qi. Fairy Shi Xian opened her eyes and frowned. You want to cultivate all three types of spiritual power. Not three, I'm cultivating six elements. Yes, Master, Han Ju replied respectfully. Fairy Shi Xian said softly, This isn't an easy path. The heavenly tribulation you encounter will also be stronger than others. You can cultivate one type of spiritual qi first. After you reach the golden core realm, it won't be too late to cultivate with the other spirit qi. Chapter 9 Third level of the foundation establishment realm, M.O. Fujo you are listening at novelfull.audio. Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios, I want to continue like this. Although it's difficult, I believe that with my will, I can succeed. I'm willing to spend all my time on cultivation, Han Ju replied. Fairy Shi Xian didn't reject him directly, which meant there was still a chance. Fairy Shi Xian stared at him and said, The inner sect has a teleportation formation that leads to the Thunder Spiritual Pool. However, one needs ten mid-grade spirit stones to stay in the Thunder Spiritual Pool for a day. At first glance, it looked cheap, but for cultivators, how could a day be enough? Han Ju said in surprise, Thank you for your guidance, Master. I'm going there immediately. With that, he stood up and left in a hurry. Fairy Shi Xian smiled before closing her eyes and continuing to cultivate. When Han Ju arrived at the inner sect city, he stopped a female disciple and asked, Senior, sorry for disturbing you. Where's the thunder spiritual pool? Can you tell me? That way, at the end of the road. The place that has lanterns with thunder written on them is the thunder spiritual pool. Thank you. Junior. Han Ju left quickly, not giving her any chance to strike up a conversation. Wherever there were people, there would be trouble. The fewer friends he made, the less trouble would find him. What are friends? We help each other, and we're friends. If you want my help, that's trouble. Ten minutes later, Han Ju found the Thunder Spiritual Pool. Entering the pavilion, he saw a teleportation formation in the inner courtyard. He took out a hundred superior dot grade spirit stones. He was going to stay there for three years. If he left early, he could ask for a refund for the remaining time. The Jade Pure sect would never cheat their own disciples. The disciples who worked here were here to clear missions. The owner of the Thunder Spiritual Pool was an elder, so no one dared to cause trouble here. The disciples working here were slightly surprised by Han Ju's generosity, but they didn't say anything. Although the thunder cultivation potential was rare, the Jade Pure sect had more than a few disciples with it. When he opened his eyes again, Han Ju appeared at a pool filled with hot air. Visibility was poor. The thunderclouds were very low, and he felt that he could reach out and touch them. Apart from him, another cultivator was already meditating nearby. Don't wander around in the thunder spiritual pool. You can only cultivate by the pool. If you don't obey the rules and get killed by lightning, you deserve it, a cold snort came from behind. Han Ju turned his head and saw that it was a huge tree. Its main trunk had a human face filled with sarcasm. A tree spirit. Han Ju nodded at it and then walked to the side to meditate. The thunder spiritual pool quickly fell into silence, and only the sound of thunder could be heard. Han Ju was pleasantly surprised to find a lot of thunder spiritual qi here, 
which made his progress cultivating his thunder spirit energy much faster than when he had cultivated the other spirit energies. Awesome! Han Ju was extremely excited. In just a short year, Han Ju had successfully cultivated his thunder cultivation potential to the ninth level of the Qi refinement realm. He didn't leave but prepared to enter foundation establishment. Previously, he had already cultivated all the different types of spiritual energy to the max and had also reached the max for the thunder spirit energy now. He had maxed out all six spiritual energies. He could go for foundation establishment immediately. Foundation establishment required foundation establishment pills, but that was only for mortals. Han Ju had top. Tier cultivation potential. The first level of the six paths of reincarnation technique taught him a method to avoid heavenly tribulation. It was a very hard dot line approach. He would absorb the heavenly tribulation. The six paths of reincarnation would absorb the lightning from the heavenly tribulation and convert it into thunder spirit energy, helping him further his cultivation. A month later, Han Ju started to break through to foundation establishment. It just so happened there were few people in the thunder spiritual pool. Even if he succeeded in reaching the foundation establishment realm, it wouldn't attract too much attention. Meditating, Han Ju kept changing his moves and practiced the six paths of reincarnation technique. Six types of spiritual energy revolved in his body forming six colored whirlpools in his dantian. The tree spirit suddenly opened its eyes and looked at him in surprise. The cultivator nearby also opened his eyes. The lightning in the thunder spiritual pool began to gather towards Han Ju. Is he trying to enter foundation establishment? The cultivator's face twitched. He silently distanced himself from Han Ju, afraid that he would be struck by the heavenly tribulation. An hour later, streaks of lightning interweaved above Han Ju's head like dragons and snakes. The strange thing was that these lightning bolts disappeared the moment they touched him. They didn't cause him any harm. The tree spirit and the cultivator frowned. What kind of cultivation technique is he using? It can counter the tribulation like this. Although they were surprised, they didn't disturb him. Disrupting others during their tribulation transcendence was a big taboo in the cultivation world. It was immoral. Relying on his exceptional cultivation potential and an unparalleled cultivation technique, Han Ju's breakthrough to foundation establishment was extremely smooth. There were no surprises or danger. Three days later, he successfully established his foundation and reached the first level of the foundation establishment realm. Congratulations on reaching the foundation establishment realm. You have the following choices. Han Ju chose the second option without hesitation. After his breakthrough, he didn't leave immediately. Instead, he planned to continue cultivating his thunder spirit energy until the time was up. He first inherited the second level of the six paths of reincarnation technique. The next morning, he continued to cultivate. This person has a good temperament. He didn't even go out to celebrate his successful breakthrough. Instead, he continued to cultivate, the cultivator thought silently. A line of words appeared in front of Han Ju. M.O. Fujo has a good impression of you. Current favorability. One star. Han Ju opened his eyes and noticed that the cultivator was staring at him. Han Ju nodded at him politely. M.O. Fujo nodded back. Then, the two of them continued cultivating without further communication. Han Ju walked out of the Thunder Spiritual Pool and opened his attributes panel. Name Han Ju, Lifespan 27-187, Race Mortal, Cultivation Level 3 of the Foundation Establishment Realm, Technique Six Paths of Reincarnation Technique, Can Be Inherited, Magic Unparalleled Finger, Divine Sword, Mystical Power. None, Equipment. None, Cultivation Potential. Spiritual Physique of the Six Paths. It contains top.notch wind, fire, water, earth, wood, and thunder cultivation potentials. 
increases providence to a certain extent. Connate providence is as follows, unparalleled. Immortal beauty, top.notch charm, destined sword fanatic. Top.notch sword Dao aptitude, top.notch sword Dao learning ability, unparalleled movement technique. Top.notch movement technique aptitude, descendant of the immortal emperor. After the game begins, you will receive an unparalleled cultivation technique and 1000 superior. Grade Spirit Stones Check Interpersonal Relationships, Level 3 of the Foundation Establishment Realm. This was the cultivation level of his Thunder Cultivation Potential. The Foundation Establishment Realm was also divided into 9 levels. He was really fast. 2 years for reaching Level 3. Most importantly, his lifespan had increased to 187 years. Han Ju was very satisfied. Brother, may I know your name? I'm Mo Fuzhou from the Heavenly Thunder Peak. A voice sounded from behind Han Ju. He stopped and turned around. Han Ju cupped his fists and said with a smile, I'm Han Ju from Jade Serene Peak. Jade Serene Peak. No wonder I find you unfamiliar. It's a pity for someone with your talent to join the Jade Serene Peak. Do you want to come to Heavenly Thunder Peak? My master is a thunder cultivator. M.O. Fujo shook his head. Han Ju smiled and said, I have already acknowledged Fairy Shi Xian as my master. She will be my master for life. I can't betray her like that. But thank you for your kind intentions, Brother M.O. M.O. Fujo smiled and said, Your technique is very impressive. You reached the third level of the Foundation Establishment Realm in just two years. You're considered one of the best in the entire inner sect. Brother M.O., you flatter me. I have no intention of comparing myself with the other inner sect disciples. Ha ha ha. The two of them chatted for a while before leaving. After returning to Jade Serene Peak, Han Ju didn't know whether he should go greet Fairy Shi Xian or not. Forget it. Master's also an ascetic. I shouldn't disturb her. Han Ju silently returned to his cave abode. After returning to his bed, Han Ju rested for a while before checking his interpersonal relationships. He found an email mark on the top right corner, still glowing red. Curious, he clicked on it. Chapter 10 Miserable friend, first disciples favorability you are listening at novel full dot audio. Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios, your good friend Xing Hongxian is being hunted down by the Jade Pure sect and was severely injured. She managed to escape by luck. Your good friend, Xing Hongxian, is being hunted down by her fellow disciples and was lucky enough to counterattack. Your good friend Xing Hongxian betrayed the viridescent nether cult and is being hunted down. Your good friend Xing Hongxuan's favorable impression of you has increased to four stars. Han Ju was speechless. That's very unfortunate of her. The most ridiculous thing was that for the past few years, Xing Hongxian was getting more affectionate of him. They didn't even meet again. A woman's heart is like an underwater needle. I can't get it. Han Ju took a closer look. No one on his list had any progress in their cultivation. This is great. First, he set a small goal to surpass Fairy Shi Xian. Han Ju closed the attribute panel and continued cultivating with a high spirit. Three years later, Han Ju's fire cultivation potential had reached the third level of the Foundation Establishment Realm. The Thunder Spiritual Pool had a much higher density of spirit qi than out here. So, his cultivation had been slower. At this rate, he would need another 12 years before he would reach the third level of Foundation Establishment Realm for his other four types of spirit energy. Anyway, he could live for 187 years now. There was ample time. However, if I cultivate all six types of cultivation potential to the peak of the Foundation Establishment Realm, I'll probably come very close to the end of my lifespan. Han Ju thought silently. Cultivating all six elements would take six times longer than if he only cultivated one. 
the thunder spiritual pool came to Han Ju's mind. It seemed like he had to make use of these spiritual pools. In the Jade Pure sect, other than the thunder spiritual pool, there were other spiritual pools. There were a total of eight attributes. The other two attributes were metal and ice. The Jade Pure sect was indeed very resourceful. This was good too. Han Ju didn't need to change sections. Several days later, a bell suddenly rang on Jade Serene Peak. Han Ju opened his eyes and stood up immediately. Once the bell rang, it meant that Fairy Shi Xian was summoning all the disciples. This was the first time in the many years he had been here he was summoned. I hope it's not something troublesome. I still want to continue cultivating. Han Ju thought silently. After walking out of the cave abode, he bumped into Chang Yue. Junior, long time no see. Hey. You've reached the foundation establishment realm. Chang Yue greeted him with a smile. Then, her eyes widened. She was only in the second level of the foundation establishment realm and couldn't see through Han Ju's cultivation level, but she could feel that Han Ju's spiritual power was very strong, far beyond what Qi refinement realm cultivators could radiate. Han Ju smiled humbly. I was just lucky. Chang Yue was secretly shocked. Could Junior have surpassed me? No. I have to hurry up and cultivate. I can't lose to my junior. Chang Yue's favorability towards you has decreased. Current favorability. 1.5 star. Han Ju was confused. What the hell? Did I say something wrong? Chang Yue chuckled as she brought Han Ju up the mountain as if nothing had happened. Along the way, they met other disciples of the Jade Serene Peak. Han Ju was the youngest and had to address everyone as a senior. Different from what he had imagined, there were other male disciples in Jade Serene Peak as well. There were quite a number of them, and all of them looked imposing. There was approximately an equal number of male and female disciples. Reaching Jade Serene Hall's gate, they knelt and waited patiently. During this time, Han Ju was sized up by the others. The female disciples all smiled at him. But no one developed a favorability towards him. These disciples had already cultivated here for many years, unlike Chang Yue who had only joined the Jade Serene Peak a few years earlier than Han Ju. More and more disciples arrived. When the gate opened, Han Ju counted 50.6 disciples in total. Even the most downtrodden Jade Serene Peak had so many disciples, let alone the other peaks. Most of the disciples were stronger than Han Ju, so he couldn't see through their cultivation. After entering the hall, Han Ju made sure he was at the back. As the junior, he naturally had to be ranked last so as to avoid offending some petty seniors. Mats had already been placed in two rows within the hall, allowing the disciples to sit facing each other. Han Ju sat at the back, facing Chang Yue. She winked at him like a child. Childish. Han Ju quietly raised his middle finger. Chang Yue didn't understand this gesture. She thought it was a secret signal and also pointed her middle finger at him. Dot. At this moment, Fairy Shi Xian spoke. Sect Master has just made a decision. In the upcoming inter.peak sparring competitions, the three peaks ranked last will each choose ten disciples to go fight against the Viridescent Nether Cult. All these years, the Viridescent Nether Cult has been sending spies to scheme against our Jade Pure sect. Sect Master is prepared to counterattack. Han Ju observed the other's expressions and realized no one was panicking. Eh. Isn't Jade Serene Peak ranked one of the lowest? Han Ju had always thought Jade Serene Peak was the weakest peak. Lu Sanxin, the first disciple, smiled and said, Master, although we aren't that outstanding, we have always been in the top ten. Don't worry. The other disciples agreed. No matter how low profile we are, it's impossible for us to be at the bottom. The viridescent nether cult is getting really rampant. I heard that there are many spies of the Viridescent Nether Cult in the Outer Sect. 
we have to be careful when recruiting new disciples. The cult spies don't even cultivate fiendish techniques, we should have dealt with the viridescent nether cult long ago. Every time I go out to train, I will meet their pompous disciples. Han Ju listened in silence. Fairy Shi Xian said, I'm naturally not worried about the ranking. However, this also means that the Jade Pure sect and the Viridescent Nether Cult will fight sooner or later. So, take up missions regarding the Viridescent Nether Cult from now on. Although we keep a low profile, we should still contribute to the sect. The disciples nodded. Han Ju. Fairy Shi Xian suddenly called out. Han Ju hurriedly got up. The other disciples looked at him. You reached the third level of the Foundation Establishment Realm from the ninth level of the Qi Refinement Realm in just a few years after entering the peak. Seems like you're a genius, said Fairy Shi Xian with a smile. Hearing this, everyone's expressions changed. The speed of progression was unbelievable. Han Ju replied, I was just lucky. Master, I don't want to be high. Profile. Recently, the sect has come up with a nurturing program that targets the most outstanding geniuses of each peak. They will be groomed together and will become the trump cards of the younger generation of the Jade Pure sect. I would like to recommend you, said Fairy Shi Xian with a smile. The way the disciples looked at him changed. Han Ju immediately knelt and said in fear and trepidation, Master, I don't want to go. I don't deserve it. I only want to stay on Jade Serene Peak and cultivate in peace. I don't want to fight for fame and fortune. Furthermore, I'm new here, I should leave such an opportunity to my seniors. It's definitely a trap. Han Ju knew what was going on. Even if he was really a top-notch genius, he didn't have the qualifications. To become a core disciple of the sect right after entering. How can it not be a trap? Is Fairy Shi Xian testing me? If he was a spy from the Viridescent Nether Cult, he would definitely seize this opportunity. Really? Fairy Shi Xian narrowed her eyes. Han Ju nodded and said, Absolutely. Fairy Shi Xian nodded. Han Ju heaved a sigh of relief and sat down. The stares of the other disciples softened. Lu Sanxin has a good impression of you. Current favorability. One star. I knew it. The first disciple wants to go. It would be a huge embarrassment for the first disciple if he weren't given this chance. Fairy Shi Xian looked at Lu Sanxin and said, It should be you, then. You're the first disciple of Jade Serene Peak. Don't cause trouble. I understand. Lu Sanxin smiled, and the other disciples congratulated him.